Okay, this is an interesting find here. Feels heavy, like it's lead. Could be one of those electrode things for uh, an old battery or something. Our story begins with the world's first capacitors, Leyden jars, that were capable of storing electricity but instantly discharged when shorted. To control the discharge, Italian scientist Alessandro Volta created the world's first battery in 1791 built on earlier observations of Luigi Galvani. Volta discovered that the combination of two distinct metals separated with cloth bathed in saltwater solution produced electricity. After Volta demonstrated his battery, many versions were made. The most widely used of these was the Crowfoot battery, which was named after the unique foot-shaped zinc electrode. Crowfoot or gravity batteries were contained in a 6-inch diameter by 8-inch high glass jar. A copper star-shaped electrode was on the bottom of the jar and an insulated wire carried the positive voltage. The zinc crowfoot-shaped electrode was suspended in the upper portion of the jar. The jar was filled with water and a copper sulfide or blue vitriol was added to the water. The battery would begin producing voltage of about 1 volt. Early telegraph systems in the 1800s used a range of voltages typically from around 10 volts to 200 volts depending on the length and complexity of the telegraph line. Battery powered systems were common with voltage often boosted for longer distances. Voltage increased by connecting gravity batteries in series. The negative terminal was connected to a ground rod while the positive was connected to a single telegraph wire that connected two or more telegraph stations. Although the telephone was invented in the mid-1800s by the combined work of many people, telegraph and gravity batteries were used well into the 20th century. The gravity battery and subsequent improvements laid the groundwork for the modern batteries we use today. Thank you for watching. Every find tells a story.